Okay, folks. Uh, we're going to test out some lightweight bullets here and play around with the scope gadgetry with the uh, SS Texan with the TX2 valve. So, uh, I've got this new uh, tactic cam on here that I'm goofing around with, and we'll just. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. And I got the GoPro on the side. Um, I got turn that off for the video. I got no clue. I've never even played with this stuff. All right. Well, that's recording. And then with the Tacticam, I think I hit the button. It's red. To, I think it's supposed to, it's blinking, so I think it's recording. So, uh, we'll try some 122s. I've never done this before, so let's see what we can do here. Boy, these little ones, so you keep them flat in the tray to get them in, because if the bullet canters or teeter-totters, it's not going to, it's not going to move you know, smoothly. <sighs> that was a little high. That's to the right. So it's 3,000 PSI fill. So these are doing, these are coming out right about 1,100 feet a second. There's 122 grains. That is not, you know, if that was a coyote, I'd have turned them inside out. All right, tack the cam off. And GoPro off. Glasses back on. The light's solid, so it's not doing anything. All right, let's go down and take a look at that. All right, guys, so this is 50 yards with the 122. Now, the first couple of shots were here, and I had three here, and then the last two were there. Or maybe two, two, and then a third. I don't know. The scope won't adjust that far. You can see in the tactic cam. Not bad. We'll cover these up, and uh, we'll shoot sure something else. You know, that was five shots and like 2,200 PSI. You started what, 36? No, 3,000. Oh, 3,000. Oh. Yeah. yeah, these are the factory bottles, 3,000. Hope I can get close enough. I wanted to show you how much bullet on this 125 is sticking out. I just got it flat to the tray and right in at that first ring. Okay, that's as far just I got it flat and gripped in. That's it, it's not going flush. It's not all the way in. That's the way it is. And that's what we want. Wow. 
On 25s are grouping like that, guys. Really looking good. Okay, so this is hitting almost in the same spot as the 122s. But, so I got one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, give or take. Because there, were, this hole already had the other one in it. But still, that's great, you know, for the 125s. Very, very promise accuracy. Definitely kill a coyote. Okay, here's the 155. It's getting bad because all the dots are falling off. But you can see through the tactic cam. I'm pretty sure that's my five right there. A little spread out, but uh, the group in itself is pretty darn tight. I'm very pleased with this. Okay, and then you can see how far the 185 is going in there. All right, 185. Still looking really good considering who the shooter is. Um, five shots. Not bad at all. All right, here's the 200 grain. So it was uh, ding, 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 one, two, three, four, and then number five was a high flyer. I don't know why, if it was me or if it's something with the lower pressure, but still excellent. Look at this. This 125, literally, the air pressure blew a hole through the back of the slug. I guess if you were trying to dump a coyote or something, this would be fantastical. So 125, 155, 185, 200 grain. All right, everybody out there in Air Force land, what do you think of the lightweight slugs? 122, 125, 155, 185, 200 grain. All were excellent, at least with my shooting at 50 yards. Can easily turn a coyote inside out. Uh, looking forward to getting some good uh, animal reviews later on. But with that said, thanks for watching. And we'll come back at you with some more fun and excitement as much as I can bring. Thanks for watching.